That meant actually we're going to see a fall in fossil generation in China this year. So especially this year, there have been two really surprising stories. So China, on the one hand, was maybe the slightly more anticipated one, because over the last two, three years, we've really seen a massive step up in the amount of clean power that's come online there. And that has now this year specifically has met all of the growth in electricity demand. So that meant actually we're going to see a fall in fossil generation in China this year. Um, India is a slightly more unexpected story. And in a slightly unfortunate way, I guess, is also the story that will take slightly longer to properly develop. Uh, this year was just incredibly mild in India. So temperatures, especially over the from sort of May to August, were much, much lower than they were last year, which led to a reduction in uh, electricity demand for cooling. So less people turning their AC on for less of the time. And that means slower demand growth, incredibly strong additions in solar and wind power at the same time as well. So in a normal year, this would have still led to a fossil generation increase. But because the power deployment for clean, from clean power was so strong, we're seeing a big fall in fossil generation there as well. Uh, and, and completely unprecedented as well in a, in a year that doesn't have a recession. 